Welcome back. So this will be a quick review of my uh, little beast uh, record power uh, DML 320 uh, lead. Um, now I had I have this around uh, three and a half years now, and uh, it made around 1,100 balls and uh, many other uh, turn stuff as well. Uh, it served me excellent. Now, if you're in the market for a lathe this size, uh, this has a capacity of, uh, let's say, ball turning uh, uh, up to 12 inches or uh, 320 mil. The length is around uh, 550 mil, I believe. Um, not sure what the inches are put on the screen. Um, it has a 550 watt mo motor, uh, which uh, I believe it's uh, that's the output. The input is 750 watt, and uh, I believe that's a three quarter of horsepower. It has a variable speed uh, control box here. Uh, three step pulleys and um, I actually leave it most of the time on the middle pulley which gives me range from 500 rpms to 1650 uh, which covers m many things yeah so after three years it's I mean it does have uh, wear and tear you know it's a machine i've used it almost every day it does make a, a lot of projects uh, in, a, in a week and um, but everything works perfectly uh, everything runs and uh, glides smoothly and i didn't clean it for review or anything like that uh, this is after uh, i cleaned up uh, after a job, after the end of the day, um, the cam action is excellent. You can move it with one hand banjo. Uh, the tail stock, it's also very precise. Uh, you probably want to see the kiss test. Near perfect after three and a half years. Uh, <coughs> like I said, it's, I believe actually, maybe the, the best, uh, this mini uh, type blade uh, does have the power you need for this size of blade. Um, it's cast iron everything uh, that actually matters. And... Um, Excellent machine. It does weigh uh, around 55 kilos, I believe, or 52 kilos, which is plenty for this size of lathe. Um, I have it mounted mounted on the bench, and that bench is mounted to the uh, concrete fo floor, so it's rock solid. It doesn't move anywhere. Um, it's excellent machine. Now. Obviously, it, not, not, nothing's perfect, and uh, this does have its uh, draws, drawbacks. Uh, for instance, uh, many of the leads with this type of uh, tailstock uh, does wear this groove from the other side, and uh, you, um, they can raise a burr which can uh, somehow uh, snug, snug fit this uh, quill inside this uh, tail stock and uh, I mean it's not a big deal you just take the quill out and uh, use a metal rasp and just clean that burr off and uh, it's done it's back uh, and smoothly um, again uh, like I said it's the common issue on many lathes this type of banjo um, it's just maintenance that you have to do. Uh, the other thing is, and the other only thing actually is, uh, it does have a slow start. Delay uh, from the switch, once you press it uh, to, let's say, on, 
and uh, to spindle to get to up uh, to the speed which is not bad for uh, let's say beginners or someone who is just uh, starting out it's actually a preferred option i believe but um, as i uh, progressed and uh, grown uh, with this lathe i actually uh, outgrown that feature i'll show you what i mean so you'll hear, hear a click when it's turned on still spooling up still still now it's up to bizarre speed so it does take a while it's not that long but uh, for me it's uh, uh, when I'm doing a batch of things and I want to get the stuff done fast it does slow me down a bit but like I said it's a great feature for someone who is a rookie on this beginner and uh, you have the time to you know uh, if you pressed on switch you still have a time to uh, turn it off if you forget something you, mm, I don't know uh, tighten a chuck or uh, tighten the grip on the ball or something like that so there is a time for that you do need to uh, obviously uh, maintain the bed ways and uh, uh, tail stock and underneath here I just use the WD-40 I don't use the silicon uh, like spray um, what it's called you know uh, I've tried those and I don't like it uh, I just like the WD-40 after uh, I've done for the day I spray on and uh, wipe it off and in the morning I just like sort of buff the the ways and everything uh, that's actually cast iron you know and everything runs smoothly and that's actually works for me like I said the cam action is rock solid everything is uh, on both ways you can uh, tighten up it doesn't move also the the thing with the tailstock as well once you tighten it up it doesn't move so if you're in the market for a small mini lathe uh, I highly encourage you to go check out the record power brand there are other as well obviously but I really like this one uh, for three and a half years I never had any issue with it uh, not with the electronics the anything that you know the parts or anything like that everything runs smoothly as it should and uh, it's flat as it should be and uh, yeah what more can you ask for uh, from the lathe so if you're in market for a mini lathe consider this it's a great option and uh, it will make your the turning much much enjoyable